Hey guys, so I want to do a quick video on progression math for interchangeable core, um, IC core uh, lock systems for the A2 systems. Um, I've had a few locksmiths and a few apprentices want to know the best way to do a progression. I was taught this way from a locksmith of like 50 years and you know you want to find somebody who's been in it for a long time and just pick their brain and learn absolutely everything that they have to know and so this is one thing that um, has stuck with me and a lot of people say you know what do you recommend do you recommend using uh, the physical math or use a chart um, I don't recommend using the chart I know it's quick and the easy way but it's one of these it's a lab uh, pinning chart and you can order these it just basically does you gives you a quick reference on um, your stack up and um, I used it a couple of times and I just I don't I either don't have the patience for it and I also have to double check my work I'm not saying that this lab uh, chart is um, not great I'm sure it works for a lot of people lab is a great company and they've been around for a long time but I recommend to do a physical um, progression and um, that way you can keep it for your records and um, you'll know that you'll never have to second guess yourself as long as the math is correct you'll never have to go back and check your work um, so you can do um, as many keys as you want um, but you have to remember it's a loss of security um, it is access acceptable to create ghost keys and that's where you need to delegate keys in the keying system so you have keys that are in the system but are not working in specific areas where they're not supposed to be. So in this system I'm going to do a large system just so you can see how easy it is to do a basic system. So let's go ahead and start and we're going to start with we're going to use a control key like you have to so I'm going to put control and we're going to make that six two five nine six seven then we're going to have a grandmaster and that's going to be three zero one seven nine four then we'll use a sub Sub, sub master key. We'll make that three zero one seven seven six. And then we'll use a site for multiple locations in an area for a sub master. And we'll make that nine two five one seven six. And then we're going to use an interior. one eight five nine seven six and then we're also we'll add the last one we'll do an office key for individual offices and then we'll make that one five eight nine nine seven six so if you have six offices you're gonna have to do this six times but only change the bottom office key so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a progression on our keys and we're gonna break them down to create our bottom pins and our master pins. Um, but we're not going to add the control key in that progression. We are just going to use um, the grandmaster, submaster, your site key, your interior key, and then your office key for that designated office. So let's see here, we'll go three, zero, one, seven nine four three zero one seven seven six nine two five one seven six one eight five nine seven six and then five eight nine nine seven six so let's do our progression we're going to go, see here, the lowest to the greatest. So one, 
zero one one seven four and then we can still continue off that progression so we're gonna go two two four six two two continue two six four two and four there we go now we've created our progression and then our bottom pins and our masters so now what we need to do is we need to tally up what's the largest cut in every bank and then put that down here at the very bottom so we're going to go with a nine eight nine 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 and a six perfect so we're going to take that hold on because then we need to do our control key right now so what we're going to do is we're going to take our control key but we're going to add 10 to each bank so down here we're going to go 16 12 15 19 16 17 then we're going to subtract this from these right here. So we're going to go 9, 8, 9, 9, 9, 6. There we go. So we're going to subtract these. It's going to be 7, 4, 6, 10, 7, 11. So these are our pins for our control key in that stack up. So what we need to do now, because in the stack up for your pinning, every bank needs to add up to 23. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna subtract our control key plus 10 to 23. So we'll add that right here. We'll go, let's do a line right here to do a fresh start. So we're gonna do 23, 23, 23, 23, 23, and 23. So we're gonna take our control key plus 10 and subtract it under 23. So we got 16, 12, 15, 19, 16, and 17. So we are going to subtract that. So we got 7, 11, 8, 4, 7, 6. Perfect. Just like that. So this is our top pins, the very last of the stack up in our banks. These are our pens. So now what we're gonna do is we're going to do our pinning stack up. And this is the last part of the, the math. So we'll start with the very top here. Then we'll go here, then go here, then here. And then after the four, that last row, then we'll add these and then we'll add these for the last. So let's go one, zero, one, one, seven, four, two, two, four, six, sorry, two, two. Two, six, four, two, then four, then seven, four, six, ten, 
seven, 11, then seven, 11, eight, four, sorry, seven, six. Now, remember when we pin these up, it's tip to bow. So in a cylinder like this, this is a best, but this is a old five pin. And uh, chances are you'll never see any of these ever again. Um, so the key goes in and they're pinned just like they're cut from tip to bow. So when you pin these up, one zero one one seven four we'll go one zero one one seven four then you go two two four six two two then you go two six four two then you go four and then you go seven four six ten seven eleven and then you go seven eleven eight four seven six and then when you pin these up you have your warding turned sideways with your control bar out. So that means that your stack up will be in the Bible and not in the plug. And so if these all equal 23, that when you have your pins, they should all be flush with the top of the Bible. And that's how you know that your math is absolutely correct. Then you can go ahead and rotate your plug, drop the pins down, throw your springs in, throw your caps in, and then you're good to go. At that point, it doesn't work. I would check the cut on your key because it's definitely not going to be an issue with the cylinder. So I hope everyone was able to understand and this is the right way and only way and my way of doing locks. So you have your control key, grandmaster, sub, master key, your site key, interior, master key, and then your office key. You do your progression except your control key that creates your bottom pins and your top pins. And then you do a second progression of just the largest cut in each bank then you take that and subtract it here against your control key that you add 10 to each number see 6 2 5 9 6 7 16 12 15 19 16 7 then you just had created your chamber your lot your stack up for your control key here and then you take 23 on an A2 system and subtract it against your control key plus 10 and that creates your very last stack up up here on the very top the last set of pins that drops in those chambers so just remember that when you pin these up it is tip to bow alright guys well good luck and thanks for watching.